Hey, hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome to Star Explorers, the interstellar dungeon crawler. Uh, this is a game I found a little while ago now, I thought it looked pretty awesome, but I don't know too much about it, it's just got the, it's got the vibes of like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's sort of like No Man's Sky, if it was made like 20 years ago, <laughs> like that's sort of my general impression of it, but one of the things is, it does label itself the interstellar dungeon crawler, but you read the Steam page, you look at the screenshots and stuff, it actually doesn't look like a dungeon crawler at all to me. Like, that's, like, the last term I would use for it, so that's kind of interesting to me. I'm not sure if I just misunderstand stuff, but, yeah, to me it really does look like sort of an old-school No Man's Sky, so that's, yeah. I didn't look too much into sort of specifics, you know, it's one of them games, I think it's fun to figure things out, but, yeah, we're just gonna, you know, jump in, have some fun. No idea how long this is gonna be, or what we're gonna be doing, but... Yeah, so it's just that, we'll just, yeah, jump in, have fun. Uh, got a few options that are interesting here, so we do have difficulty. Oh, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't seen that little pop-up. Okay. Uh, I think we'll just stick with normal, like, I don't think we need to go too crazy on that. Uh, but there is here, which is also, um, so yeah, you've got planet size and terrain density. I'm not sure if we want to adjust these, like, because it goes from 14 to 18, that's like, it's a bit, you know... <laughs> Like, it doesn't really give me a lot of context as to what that's... So, I think we're probably best to just go all default. Uh, terrain density is an interesting one. But again, like, is that, like, foliage and trees and shit? Is that, like, you know... Uh, probably would be good if there was, like, a little other thing so you could, you know, get more information on that. But I'm sure that it does say read manual, so... But, you know, we're going to ignore that unless we run into a problem. Uh... Could also use some menu music, but other than that, let's just uh, let's just get in there. Uh, that is sort of my name. There we go. Uh, activate interactive guide recommended for new players. Uh, is that? I guess it's on by default. Ah, uh, we'll we'll leave that and see how we go. Like I don't, I don't mind a in-game thing. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Click enter. Gotcha. All right. Loading up. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a cool one. The screenshots. I said like it just. Yeah, it's got that vibe, as I said, like a, an old school No Man's Sky, but I also don't know how in-depth a lot of it is, so... Like, I don't know if there's NPCs even or anything, so... But alright, we, uh, I guess we're starting in space, not on a planet, okay. We have an urgent incoming Mother message. Mothership transit complete. Okay. Cool. Uh, press tab to close tutorial, alright. Cur current objective, find and reach Mothership, sure. Click on computer panel to get mission details. Right click on blinking light to warp to mothership. Use star chart to locate target sector. Press o, o to toggle star chart overlay. Motherships and stars highlighted. Wait, what? Oh, press O to toggle star chart overlay. Are that? No. Oh. Overlay, is that a separate line? Mothership and star highlighted when on. Okay, press X to access game menu. Go to, the, okay, okay, okay. Uh, welcome to Star Explorer's Interactive Guide. To get, to get started, notice the help menu, press tab to toggle, okay. Oh, that was just... right, right. Great job! Now you can access the help menu, pressing tab whenever you need it. Sweet. Now let us look at your situation. This is your ship's helm. Notice the flashing message to the upper left and the blinking computer power to the lower right. Yep, yep. This indicates an important message coming to the mothership, uh, Altair? You'll need to click on the blinking computer power to intercept the message. Alright. After you click next, this guide will disappear. Do not worry, it will come back shortly, but until then, you will have to click the blinking computer power. Alright, I like this little, like, you know, nice and simple. Uh, can we click the message, or just... I guess that's just to let us know we go through here. Oh, okay, Commander Maki. Mission command. Well done, you made it. This is your ship's computer power. Yes, you... <laughs> I thought you were going to be away for a minute, but alright. Uh, okay, we got some shit down here. This is, a uh, it's kind of small, you know. I feel like, uh, could use some UI scaling or something, maybe. Might be better played in a lower resolution. This is Commander Marky of the Earth Vessel Altair. Since you are reading this, it means you survived Earth destruction. Oh, okay. No more Earth, okay. We've set up a beacon to help find the Altair. It's the green blinking star you should see up ahead of you in Sector 43. We're in need of help, so please walk to our location. Then you can talk to Professor Ignatz, who will explain the details. Okay, so maybe we do actually have some story and stuff in this? Alright. The Altair is the latest of Earth's motherships. Here, you will be able to receive your mission requirements, buy or sell items, and find quests complete in exchange for quants. Money. Okay. Note, it is a good idea to stay near the mothership until you have a good grasp of how the star chart works. 
Also, our trade has an upgraded star chart you should consider purchasing as soon as possible. Important. Ignatch has urged me to mention that here in the post-Earth universe, we use the Kelvin scale to measure temperature. Freezing happens at 273.15 Kelvin. 300 Kelvin would be a nice day on Earth. Always check your suit's temperature range in your inventory before landing on a planet. Oh, well, I mean, that's awkward. I'm not going to remember that. Hopefully there's indicators or something. I mean, like, what does that mean then? Like, freezing at 273... 300 would be a nice day. That's... Okay. I, I, I don't know. Is Kelvin real? Probably sound dumb if it is. <laughs> Alright, don't mind me. Alright, well done, you made it. Yes, I did. Your first task here is to re... Oh, yes, yes. You'll need to be introduced to the other parts of the computer panel later, so don't worry about all these buttons yet. After you click the next button, the message, exit panel button... Okay. Uh, do we want to... Do we have anything going on? Alert, mothership is not in proximity. Oh, okay. So I don't know if we actually get to board the mothership, or it's going to be more like a contextual thing, or... Star chart? Can't see that. Alright, exit's fine. Super! You made it back to the helm. Now you learn how to navigate your ship. That would be good. See the blinking light? That is the mothership Altair. If you're having trouble seeing it, don't worry. You can activate the star chart overlay. Pressing O will toggle your star chart overlay. Yeah, so what is this, uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh... Oh, they might... The back button would probably be nice. We will t I don't know what that said, but... We will talk about sectors later when we look at the star chart. Let's take a look at your ship controls for a moment. Sure. Use W to move forward. Uh, I pressed W. I didn't see us moving, but alright. Good work. You probably didn't notice much movement. Yeah, that is because we are in outer space and everything you see is very far away. Ah, touche, I guess. S to move backwards. Sure. Fantastic. Let us try turning next. Okay. Oh, alright. Perfect. Now turn right. Yes, yes. You are now a natural pilot. Uh, you are a natural pilot. Have you done this before? Well, I got no man's sky experience. That's something. I mean, I, I, I tend to crash a lot, but, you know. Now you need to learn how to defend yourself in case you encounter hostile aliens. That would also be good. Oh, is this ship combat? Let us activate combat mode, which changes the way your ship's controls work. Pressing space will activate combat mode. Oh! Oh! Okay. Notice that moving the mouse on our steel ship, press the left button to fire lasers. Oh, alright. Got some Star Wars shit going on now. Very nice. Cool. I feel like we're at a weird angle now, though. So is this, we can turn that on and off while we're... Can we, like, straighten up or something? Like, what, how do we... Feels a little strange. I don't quite know how to... Like, how do I make that line straight is what I'm... You know, like, I don't... Well, we'll figure that out. Okay. Welcome back to Explanation Mountain. Now moving the mouse will... Now moving the mouse will move... Yep, yep, yep. Now it is time to go to the mothership. Press M to automatically aim your ship towards the mothership. This is very useful when you lose your sense of direction. Yeah, that sounds good. Do we... Oh, okay. Great. Now it is time to walk to the mothership. After this guide disappears, use your castle to hover over the mothership. When your cursor turns red over the mothership, use the right mouse button to open the warp menu and select warp to mothership. Fair enough. So can we actually travel there, like, with W? And it, oh yeah, see, so like, you actually... Yeah, you can see some ship moving. So we are going forward. Ah, okay. We probably don't want to waste fuel right now, I assume, so... Uh... Oh, okay, so you're right. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, so we'll give you some information here. Oh my, population, like, bajillions. Okay. That's nearly a billion. Is that right? Like, there's a billion people on the mothership? I mean, if a billion people survived Earth's destruction, I think we did pretty well. Alright, let's warp. Warp engines engaged. Hmm, okay. Alright, so far so good. Not quite as interesting as actually exploring planets yet, but, you know, gotta go through the basics. That was a challenge, but you made it. Here to the mothership Altair, where you receive your first mission. I, I have no idea why I wrote it like that. You can also access the marker quest panels. They are pretty self-explanatory, but have a look at them while you're here. Open your computer panel by pressing the blinking. It's interesting that these are going percentage, like one at a time. Is there literally exactly a hundred of them? That's kind of weird. Like, I mean, it, it's fine. I mean, nice and neat. Uh, right. Okay. 
Mothership successfully approached. Oh, hello, Ignatz. So are we only going to be doing contextual? Are we only should board the ship? Because, like, I know that, like, this is making it all feel very, like, basic, but, like, there's full planets to explore and stuff, like, full No Man's Sky-esque type of, you know. So, it's a little strange so far. I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, once you've read the press of Ignat's message, check out the market and quest panels. Click on the star chart to get an introduction to that important part of your ship. Okay. So, Professor Reginald Ignat's at your service. I will be in charge, well assigned, to give you mission details as needed. We've managed to rescue most of Earth's inhabitants, but we need fuel to get to another Earth-like planet. If you choose to help us, and we'll greatly appreciate it, we need to find planets with Acnexium crystals. Check the stars in Sector 21 for planets with Silicate Rock. Though not always, they are known to have the Acnexium we need. Find the crystals underground in caves, then drop a beacon around the planet from space to let us know you found it. Unfortunately, you can't board the Altair yet. The airlock seem to be jammed at the moment. Maybe our engineers will thought things out by the time you get back. Oh, so we're actually going to be able to then? That's cool. We need those Acnexium crystals, but feel free to explore any nearby stars first. Stick with standard stars or red giants if you want to find planets with moderate temperatures, 200 to 400 K. You may want to find some more resources, upgrades, or weapons before traveling to a distant sector. Also, check out your star chart and see how it works. It's a valuable tool while exploring the galaxy. Sectors, stars, and planets will only appear in it after they have been visited or scanned. Target sector will highlight the sector where you need to find Agnexium and show overlay will allow you to see uh, see that sector in your main view screen. Okay, some of that's a little bit in one ear and out the other, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, so what's this saying at the moment? Find Agnexium in... Oh, okay, so currently dead, yeah. Alright. Uh, read message from Mothership to understand mission. Access star chart with buttons. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I, I like this little panel. Just give you some basic dot points and that. That's cool. Um, wait, so how do we... Was it tab? Oh, no, obviously not. Right, I want to try saving. Oh. That, okay. <laughs> that worked. Yeah, I actually did have a crash before I started recording. I, I was just on the venue and it started getting these direct X errors and weird shit, but seem, we seem to be okay, so... Uh, right, let's check out trade then. Okay, we have a blaster. We have 186 quants. We aren't we aren't doing that well for ourselves apparently. Uh, all right, heat resist. Interesting. Is that uh, is that like we can like is that we have to put that here or is that like can we put that in our armor or something? Hmm. And what's with the two different sections? Like, oh, wait, what? That's why. What? Why are they selling Agnaxium crystals when isn't that exactly what they need? So why would they sell them to us? That seems kind of strange. Uh, we could actually afford some things here. Oh, there's that star chart upgrade. Okay, so we could actually afford a gun if we wanted. I think it's the exact same as ours, but oh no, no, it's not. It's actually better. I wonder if that's worth grabbing. Could be. Doesn't cost much. Because we we can sell that for 29. Hmm. I'm, I'm very... I guess it's very strange that these are being sold, I think, though. Uh, I'm still... Like, why is there two different sections? Because they're, like... They're split up weird, like... And trade dialogue. Why does it say that? Okay, the, like, I mean, these seem pretty straightforward, but I'm, I'm confused about the, the setup here. I don't know if, yeah. Okay, let, let's try and sell this, though. Bang. That goes here. Purchase. Is that, uh, yeah, because, uh, okay. Uh, equip, yes. Nice. I think that was worth it. Uh, can we, do we have any ammo? Like, there's ammo here we could buy. It's cheap. Uh, laser pistol. Loaded 14. Does that mean we have... Four? Oh, ammo 50. Max 100. Oh, is that like we... Okay, so we have 50 ammo and there's currently 14 loaded into it? Okay. Now, 
There's pistol ammo here, but we have a laser pistol, so I don't know if that's... Alright, maybe we won't worry about that. I think, I think we're okay. We don't need to go spending everything. Uh, we do have a lovely red towel. <laughs> I have no idea what that's for, but... Cool. Uh, as for... Do we have to close this first or something? Yeah, okay. Alright, we have, uh, three quests available. Sure. Find, a, find an alien circuit board. Okay. <laughs> alien... Uh, ancient alien lamp. But not alien sapphires. Okay. Um... Your request is to find the specific type of item, point discovery, return to the quest granted, receive your reward. Can we uh, take them all, or how do we actually accept them? Or do we not? Like, do we just have to have the thing on us and we can just turn it in, like we don't actually accept them, or? Because it's got this submit thing, but you know, yeah, I guess they just, that's just the ones available. Okay. I'd prefer to, like, actually have them, you know, because I, I, I'm sure I'll forget them. I mean, those I might remember, but in general. Unless it's just always three at a time or something. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, what did we, uh, what do we do next? Is that, uh, yeah, access star chart button. Oh, I guess we exit, right? We're done? Uh... Welcome to the star chart. Notice only sectors, stars, and planets. You have visited, uh, visit or scanned will appear in the chart. Okay. After clicking next, left click on the sector cube to receive your next instructions. Uh, what is it saying down there? Star chart is empty. Sectors, stars, and planets only appear after they are visited. Click on a sector to see data and options. So I guess this is a, a sector. Oh, we have... Okay. Sector map. Sector number nothing. Number of... Okay, that's all nothing. <laughs> now you have selected a star se sector. You may select the stars panel to view specific information about any stars or planet in the sector which have been scanned. View the location of your current mission by selecting target sector above. Show overlay will show the sector of the main view screen. Okay. Do I want to... What's that? They don't seem to be... Okay. Uh, wait, what? Now you have selected a star sector. Very good. Look at the sector information that appeared on the upper right... Oh, I click... Okay. It tells you some basic information about sector 43. The sector you and the mothership currently occupy, including the total number of stars and planets. Alright, so we need to go to, like, sector 21, was it? Or 41? One of them. It also has two command buttons. Target sector and show slash hide overlay. We have already discussed the star chart overlay, which is toggled by pressing O. Remember, it will highlight stars in the selected sector when you return to the ship's helm. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. Target sector will highlight the sector in which the current mission can be completed. And I guess that is like the main mission thing, not quests, I guess. Okay. After clicking next, click target sector. So what am I seeing here? Like, can I... Do that... Okay, I'm pressing uh, with arrow keys for reference right now. Uh, I don't really understand how it's working, but... So, right, okay, I'm pressing left, nothing happens. I press down, it's doing that. And then up is retracting it, but if I press up, I don't go that way. But then if I press right, it goes this way. But left cut, so I don't really know what's happening, but let's press target sect like it says. Superb. Now go back to your ship's helm for further guidance. Okay. That's just... But can I... Oh, so I can... I guess maybe it's just uh, I can go anywhere in this direction. I mean, that like that way. Like, this is like the corner with... Although I don't know why down moves it up. But I guess I want to be there and then exit the panel. Is that... Marvelous, you are now ready to begin your first mission. You may need to toggle the star chart overlay by pressing O, then you should see Sector 21 outlined ahead of you. Uh, well, we already have it on, so that's fine. Notice each star in the sector is also outlined. Similar to warping to the mothership, you will right click a star in Sector 21 and warp to it. Before we let you go off on your first mission, let us talk about one more thing. It's called the interaction key. 
Press it to leave the ship's helm and to explore your ship. Oh, really? Cool. You will also use it to return to the helm when the Intrax symbol appears over your cursor. Press E to, to leave your ship's helm and explore your ship. So we can... Ah, uh, oh, are you serious? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Now we have an actual, like, you know, a game happening. <laughs> Not just the screen. So I assume we can just pop back up here and start doing... Like, do we just... Okay. Lovely. Now you're ready to get into the galaxy to find Agnexium crystals. Or we can just buy them, apparently. <laughs> oh, I want to go back in the ship. Pick one of those highlighter stars. Remember the advice of Professor Ignace when you choose one. Well, I don't remember what he said, but sure. Right click a star and select warp to star and you'll be on your way. Good luck. I actually want to go explore the ship. How do I do that? I'm going to save. I'm pressing E. What am I missing? Uh, uh, okay, that, that doesn't... Oh, do we just go to a different sector? Or do we... Oh, did I... I'm not sure now. Do we need to do that and then exit? Ah, uh, okay. How do I... Is it not letting me explore the ship because of this, or...? Click on the computer power mission detail. Use star chart to help locate target sector. Press O to activate star overlay. Press right space for combat. WSD and... Uh, I have I have no idea what that means. Q, cut and cur and cull to control ship. Right click on star. Yeah, okay, that's all... Oh, can we dock? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, so, are these all in the sector, or... Can we click them? Oh, so when you right click it updates down here. And I guess, yeah, they all... So they're all sector 12. I guess everything we're seeing is sector 21 now. I assume we can we can spin right around. Oh my, what's happened? That was a that was a much larger spin than I was expecting. Okay. Uh what what have I done though? Why can I not explore the ship? Was there something about that that I Cuz it just said it was just it was just E, right? I would very much like to explore the ship. Uh, it's weird though, like, so you press that, then you exit again, and you're not in the same... Wait, what? That's Sector 21. I thought I had gone to a different sector because of that, but... This is still Sector 21? This is 43. But if I go here... Oh, well, I mean... I could have just pressed that, but now, this, so this is the same? Why? But I can see more now? I'm a tad confused. But was that not the same one? Like right there? What was the distance? 89535. Yeah. I, I don't understand. If anyone knows, like, I mean, we'll keep going and stuff. I'm not, like, getting stopped on this, but, like, what am I misunderstanding here? I can still see the same thing. Is it just because I can see that star from a different sector? But then this is also like sector 43, but then directly diagonals 21? I don't, I don't really get that. I guess we just hit that anyway. But then that doesn't update up here. I guess that's where we are. Okay, a tad confused about the, the setup here, but that's fine. I guess we'll just go to a planet. I'd really like to look around our ship. I'm, I'm very disappointed that I clicked out of that too soon. I don't... It, it seems weird that I can't go to the... Okay, let's... Okay. Let's go to a planet. <laughs> uh, do we... What do we want to go to, then? I think it's said about... Red dwarfs or normal? I think... Uh, we have a standard planet here. Uh... 
Oh, what's the, uh, what's the distance? This is closer too. Let's go to that then. Warp engines engaged. Man, I really want to explore our ship. I don't know how big it is or anything. Hmm. Maybe once we get here we can? It just seem really strange. You, ne you never know with games like tutorials stopping you or something. That does not look like a friendly planet. Star system successfully approached. At all. That does not look friendly. Congratulations, you just reached your first star system. Assuming you followed your instructions, you warp to a star in sector 21. You should be able to complete your first mission here. Right clicking on planets will open a similar menu as for stars, allowing you to approach and orbit them. Okay. Wait. I thought we were going to a planet. Oh, but I guess we went to a, a solar system? I don't know space terms. Right clicking on planet, yeah, okay. Once you have selected a suitable planet, remember Professor Ignat's advice about silicate rock. You can right click and orbit that planet in order to land. To find a good planet to orbit, right click on different planets, see the status in the Helm computer below. Consider the temperature and weather your spacesuit can withstand. To check your suit's resistance levels, press I and click on the spacesuit icon in the upper left corner of the inventory panel. Okay. The suit details will show in the upper right corner of the same panel. Okay. Temperature resistance high and low are listed, along with resistance to other hazards like acid, ammonia, mercury, and radiation. Compare your suit's resistance levels to the conditions on a planet before landing. It's best to avoid surface hazards altogether, but sometimes you may have to take some risks. Okie doke. So, alright. Radiation is, okay, we're not, so temperature's about all we, we can deal with. We cannot deal with any mercury, radiation, acid, or AMM, ammonia. Okie doke. Now, let me see my ship. Really? Come on. I feel like I must be doing something like I'm, I'm not. Was there something else I had to click or? Aww. <laughs> I really want to explore the ship. Uh, what are we, what looks friendly then? You're, sure. Let's scan you. What did that do? Uh, oh, it's, what? Service temperature, is that for that? Oh, so silicate rock, that's good. Oh, ammonia vapor, that's not good. Do we, so that already show, what did scanning do? Cause that's already showing. What did scan do? Oh, the planet name, is that what changed? No, oh right, you gotta scan. Oh, okay, so it, it's just adding Right, okay. Uh, do we, so do we want a planet with silica rock? Was that the thing? Hmm, what is that? Is that a asteroid? Hmm, okay. Can we like move around or? Oh, right, okay. Scan, uh, sulfur. I mean, it's not sounding too friendly. I don't know what to pick though. Silicate rock, nitrogen atmosphere, frozen ammonia. Is that bad? Like, I mean, I assume, but it, but this only tells you like a number, whereas this isn't. Yeah, uh, like I don't know what we need to worry about. Surface temperature. That is not good. Oh, I guess the low, so we need a temperature between 200 and 400. So that, that's a bit more obvious. But I'm not clear on like, so we can't have any resistance to ammonia, but then it just says frozen ammonia. It doesn't give you like a number. And I don't know, like does not, does the nitrogen atmosphere matter? Hmm. I feel like it's going to be a bit of a learning curve with some of this. Cause I don't know, like, is, if there's a single thing there that's like bad, does that mean we just can't do it? I don't know if we made a bad choice for like, you know, starting planets or anything like that. Uh, I don't know what happens when you die and stuff either, like, there's, there's a lot of unknowns for how this actually works. Uh, frozen sulfuric acid, is that... friendly? 
Temp is not friendly. So temperature is probably the thing we need to look at first, right? Oh, no, I don't want to... Why has that just got a warp option? Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a star. Oh, right, this, so this is the star chart when it's off. Ah, okay. Uh, there's some little, little things floating around here you can barely even click on. Can't quite get it. Okay, what about you? Okay, some of these are highlighting red, but you can't seem to actually click on them. Uh, frozen emote. Where was that one that actually had... No atmosphere, no liquid. Interesting. Surface temp gets a little too cold. So this one's got silicate rock. Ooh, the temperature is actually too high. Dang. I guess to be fair, we don't have to stick with this star, do we? Uh. Because I mean, they're like, for, there is that star. Which is. Oh, so that's what that is. It's telling you the number of planets of the star, right? That's sector 20, though, too. Okay. So, what do we do again? Go. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. What are you? I guess I didn't look around properly here. Uh, what was the. I'm forgetting buttons already. Oh, this was a. Right, so we go target sector, and then exit the panel. Does that change? Still kind of confused about how some of this works. Like, where are all them other stars that we were seeing first up? What do you do? Sulfuric acid, 100. So we can we can survive the temp. Oxygen. Oh, hello. I mean, I don't know if it's got, like, what we... I mean, that's fine, right? Sulfuric acid. I mean, that's... That's the thing, I don't know. Like, frozen sulfuric... Is that a hazard or not? I guess we can just try, obviously. I, I don't know what the consequences are. But, the temp's okay. That's the only concerning thing. Oxygen's a big winner, because presumably... I don't know if it's, like... You know, if it's not oxygen, do we only have a certain time we can spend on there? Versus when there is oxygen, we can actually just chill out? Like, uh, I don't know, let's, uh, what's orbit, I guess? We haven't tried that yet, Solar have we? engines engaged. Okay. Let's go take a little look. Well, that's kind of bright. <laughs> what are we doing? What now? Oh, why, why are we moving? What's happening? Orbit oh. disengaged. What? I don't... Oh no, I can't... Uh, that didn't quite work as I was planning. How do you... I guess you... Oh. I guess you kind of got to use combat mode to actually move like that. Uh, I would like to orbit again. Solar I guess. engines engaged. I don't... I don't know how to land problem. Did it tell us how to land? Uh, no, right click on stars, planets the warp. Use AWSD and funny buttons that no one's ever heard of. I mean, maybe. I've never seen CUU, CUD, and CUR. I, is that just up, down, right, left? Probably. Oh, okay, so they can act as... Sort of. Oh. Warning. Planet contains service hazards. Proceed with caution. What, why am I suddenly getting this? Okay. Magnificent. You are orbiting a planet. Now you can land on the planet by leaving the helm and making your way to the hangar at the back of the ship. Oh, can I explore now? Before you land, let us demonstrate how to leave orbit. Press the S key to leave the planet's gravity well. Oh, okay. Excellent. You can now land by getting into orbit again and making your way to the hangar orbit at the back of the ship. Disengaged. Gotcha. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Seems like it's like you've got these, so you can actually use these to do these angles. Uh, sorry, they're the arrow keys. Versus left and right with A and D. Oh, okay, so this is left and... Yeah, okay. That's with right and left. 
But then it seems that you're better off to just enter combat mode. Now you can use the mouse to go whichever direction you want. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's do that again. Solar engines engaged. So what was the hazards on this planet? Because it said something about something. Oh shit, I hit S. <laughs> um, Orbit disengaged. Let's go back again. And then I guess we can hit E. Yes, okay. Okay. Warning. Planet contains service hazards. What does Proceed that mean? With caution. Like, do you want to elaborate? Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, do we have to find the perfect planet? Like, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm liking the graphics too, like the style. Cool. Uh, hello. Oh, okay, we've got an inventory. Not a huge one. What is this? What did I just press? The sleep pod restores your health. Oh. Okay. Cool. What else we got going on around here? Oh, get okay, the airlock. Is that... Is that the hangar? That's the hangar. Alright. So what's over here? Alert, you are not docked. Uh, okay. So we don't have a huge ship. I mean, it's not tiny. I, I like it. Not huge, though. Oh, okay. So we've got, like, a landing thing. All right. Cool. So we just... Okay. Cool, cool. I guess let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, achievement unlocked. Land on a planet. That's, that's a start. Out of this world. Okay, you now land on a planet. You must find... Okay, we're, we're getting damaged, so... First and foremost, you must need to look at oxygen level, blue bar. Yeah. After clicking next, turn around, approach land. When you get close enough to end oxygen. Yeah, we're, our suit's dying. Oh my. What the fuck was that? That was interesting. Yeah, I don't have... Okay, so we got our first planet. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it looks like we can't stay here. <laughs> so... I guess no. Phenomenal, you are ready to explore this planet. Look for K, see if you can find Agnexian like, crystals. They are purple and glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah, I actually would like to enter the ship, because, you know, switch weapons by using the mouse scroll wheel and shoot by pressing the... Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, like, dying and it's stuck in the tutorial. That's not really great. Now, religion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabulous, when you're ready to return to your ship, come back to the landing craft and press E again, take off. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And now, okay, what do you, why can I not press that? Oh, I have to, to go out of that to press the, okay. Sorry, I'm getting uh, annoyed. It, it, it's, it's a, like you're taking damage and it's stuck in a tutorial. It's, that's not a good way to set that up. But yeah, our suit's just degrading completely. So apparently liquid stuff means no, no. I, I don't really get it. Like, do we have to find the perfect planet? And now is our suit... Uh, like, how do we fix our suit? Ah, uh, I mean, it was worth trying, obviously. Um, I'm just... I feel like... I mean, maybe I just have to read the manual. Like, maybe I'm just, uh, you know... I feel like it's just not giving as much information as I feel like we need. I'm sure it is all there, and I'm just being dumb, but... It's just like... It, like, how do you... Like, you've got numbers, which is why I'm... I'm not understanding. Like... How, how do you judge what that means? Like, what number do I need for that to not matter? You know what I mean? Or is it like, that's going to matter no matter what, but the higher that is, the lower it'll be like, you know what I mean? The lower it'll actually drop. Um, either way, we, we obviously can't go to that planet. That's a no-no. Uh, I think we... I don't know if we checked all the planets on here or not. So we may actually have to... Orbit to, disengaged. Uh, I don't know what that just said, but that's fine. Uh, red giant. Let's try a red giant. Oh, that's sector 43. No. We we do not want sector 43. That's, a, that's not quite not quite right. Uh, do we need to... Do we need to do this? That still confuses me. I, I, I really don't get what that does. 
Like it, it seemed to change what you can see, but like you're still in the same spot. So I don't, I don't really, I don't really get it. Uh, does it tell you anywhere like if you've scanned all the planets? Uh, no liquid, ammonia vapor. I don't think we want ammonia vapor somehow. <laughs> Frozen ammonia. So we just basically have to find... Okay, sorry about that. One of those annoying scam Amazon calls. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll do a save. Uh, I do wish there was save slots too. That would be better. Uh, but yeah, so I assume... Well, so there was that one planet which had... What was it? Yeah, so I, I assume we want a service with silicate rock. But no, well, we just want both of them to be more friendly. I, I assume that's basically how that goes. Uh, another thing, I kind of wish, like... So, like, you can enter this mode, right? You press space for combat and you can do this. I really wish you could move like that by holding in, like, maybe the right... Uh, sorry, um, the mouse wheel or something. I, I think that, like, a non-combat mode version. Uh, I mean, this is a fully released game as far as I know. I'm sort of making suggestions, like, it's not, but... Uh, I don't know. I, th I think a couple of these controls could be improved a bit. But, uh, what else we got going here? Oxygen for... Oh, that's where we... I think that's where we was, wasn't it? Uh, can we actually, like, go back? Like, I like a... Very slowly. I'd like to be more zoomed out from all this stuff. No atmosphere, no liquid sand. Let's give that a shot. Like, is that okay? Solar engines engaged. We'll see if it says about hazards or anything. I wasn't expecting it to be so hard to find the first planet we'll go and go on. <laughs> but, you know, it's a part of the process. Pre yeah, I don't know. I am liking it so far. Don't get me wrong. Uh, right, then we hit a... And then we run away. Uh, Warning. Planet contains service hazards. Proceed uh, with caution. That's, you know, miss... Non elaboration. Like seriously, could really like what? What hazard? What is the hazard? What have I? What? What? What have I chosen wrong here? Hmm. Because I don't know how to repair our suit condition, so like it's a bit awkward. Oh, I didn't try the pod. That said about repairing. He oh, yeah, we're already dying. Can't see. What's happening? What the hell's happening? Oh, I couldn't see anything. I'm just going back in. I don't know what the hell that was. That was weird. I guess we need some... I guess there was no atmosphere, <laughs> to be fair. But like, we have an air tank, right? So why is our suit condition just going down? Didn't really get that. Let's try this. I don't think that's gonna help our suit though, no. Uh, I don't think they haven't mentioned the suit, so it's a tad awkward actually. What do you do? Do we want to put this away? What? Sad is it? Oh, what? I don't, I don't really know what that did. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess we just have to find a nicer planet for now. Uh, I don't know if we have somewhere here we could like repair our suit or if that's just... Was there a repair kit at the trader? There probably was something like that and I didn't pay attention. Or it was expensive. Um, so what was the problem here? Like no atmosphere just destroys our suit or something? Is that... I, I don't, I, I don't know enough about space to really have any idea. Not, you know, not something you really learned about in school. Orbit uh, disengaged. Right, let's uh, take a look around. Whew, that's... Yeah, I think we've checked all the planets here. As far as I know, at least. Super awkward to look around here, but... Alright, let's see what else we got. These are 43... Where's the, where's the mothership at? Do we want to go back there or something? Would that be easier to work from, maybe? Because I'm not, like... 
So, target sector, because before when we clicked that it seemed to show all the stars, but I was unclear why. Right, yeah, so all the other stars have now disappeared. So, does it... Is the whole purpose of this is like, it makes it so those are specifically visible? Is that just what it's doing? I mean, that makes sense, I guess. I just... You know, like, why can't you just see all the stars at once that you can see? Or, you know? Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look around. Like, we are in Sector 21, right? So we should be able to see the stars, I assume. Brown. I'm pretty sure Red Dwarf was recommended as one of them, right? I think that was the... Uh... Oh, that's the mothership. <laughs> okay, this is... How do we... While you're in combat mode, I don't understand how you're meant to... Do I just have to go out of combat mode to do this or something? I guess. Alright, let's try that. Awkward. Uh, where the hell are the rest of the stars? Because there was a whole bunch of them. Are they down or up? Maybe? Somewhere? Maybe it is easy to go back to the mothership. Oop, that was... No, I think we've seen that one. Oh, this is very, uh... I feel like some people with motion sickness <laughs> might not appreciate this. Uh, that's Sector 21. It's a red giant. It's got three planets. Let's give that a shot. Warp engines engaged. Uh... I don't know if we're gonna get worried about fuel. Right, now. it's at current fuel. That's 31. That's alright, yeah. That ain't bad. Okay. So this Star is... Star system successfully approached. So we've got three planets here, right? Scan, no liquid, no atmosphere, and it's got silicate rock. But that's, it's, that's just gonna be dark as shit, I assume, again, that's one of them ones, or? No atmosphere, no, are they the same? Oh, we have ozone, we have, <laughs> we got ozone, but we got ammonia. So is this just, just, nope, like, we just have to skip this one as well? I mean, what happens if we run out of fuel? Is it, like, game over? I assume that's it, though, right? Like, we... Three planets. Uh... You know. Yeah. So we just move on, I guess? Like, I, I assume. Do we have to, like, activate Sector 21 again? How does that go? Like, do we have to go back in here again? Probably. And then look around. Uh, do, 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 do. What are you? You're not highlighted. No? That is the mothership, I think. Oh, right. Got to go out of that. No, it's not. Oh, all right. We can check that out. What is that? Hypergiant. Oh, okay. Why is that not... It's not, a. Uh, not highlighted like these ones. I don't know what a hypergiant is, but this is another red dwarf, which... Oh, sorry about that. Um, so, we're at the next one here. Uh, I think it's scanned, yeah, I think, sorry, there's like a little gap there, but... Let's see how we're doing on these ones. Uh, volcanic fog and liquid lava. That does not sound friendly, but we will scan you. Uh, scan. Ozone. Methane? Uh, maybe. I don't really know... Wait, is that referenced on the suit? No. And there should be a third one here somewhere. Go into combat mode. Take a look. Ooh, shit. Oh, it gets so... Oh, it's a dark one, I think, there. Yeah, I'm def I'm, I'm gonna need to get used to the navigation. No at Oh, that's another, like, silica, but no atmosphere, no liquid. Let's try this out. Why not? It Solar engines might work. Engaged. I, I don't know, like I said, I'm not familiar enough with things to know. Like, what does liquid methane even mean? Like, you know? Is that like it's like part of the atmosphere? Is it like meaning that every single place where there would normally be water, there is methane? Like, I, I'm not... I don't know that's like something that is a space thing or specific to this game or how accurate the science is and, you know, so... Yeah. Bit, bit of a learning curve with all of that. But we'll see. You gonna tell me about some hazards? Hmm? Warning. Planet contains service hazards. Of Proceed course. Proceed with caution. Of course there is. 
Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Can we, uh... Saving only available from the spaceship console when stationary. Ah, okay. I might actually go ahead and do a save here. Because I'm curious, like, I think we should probably learn what happens when we die, right? Like, that just seems like it probably would be smart. Because then we can sort of act accordingly. Because um, I don't know, for example, it just resets to your last save. Do you lose items? Uh... I mean, you name it sort of thing. Let's, um... we we'll do that. All right. Let's put that away. I don't think we actually need the tower right now, but... Let's, uh, let's hope for the best, you know. I'd, I'd like to be able to at least do some exploring of one planet for the first part of this. Uh, okay, I just have to grab a drink, and now we are good. Let's, uh, let's see. I think, um... Yeah, I think we probably... If the, if the suit does go down... I think we probably just want to wait and see what happens. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we said we saved. But I don't know how saving works. Like, if it's an auto-save after we die, that would be regrettable. Although this planet's completely dark, so... Let's not. <laughs> oh, discover alien life. That was an achievement. Apparently there was something on that planet. <laughs> but if we can't see, then there's kind of no point, is there? Hmm... I do feel like the suit condition should have been something covered during the tutorial before now. Because it's like, <laughs> I really don't understand what we're going to do and I don't know what's causing it. Like, because there's nothing to indicate a problem here except for the methane. But why would liquid methane mean our suit just is destroyed? Like when we have an atmosphere of oxygen. But again, I guess I don't know enough about like space. So kind of hard to actually judge what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, alright. Oh, actually, no, my bad. I, I completely, I, I, Orbit disengaged. Yeah. I, I wasn't even thinking about temperature, actually, so that, though, that's my bad, too. That is actually my bad. Uh, with that said, though, pretty sure that was the only planet that looked even remotely. Like, yeah. What's this one? Yeah, no liquid, no atmosphere. Temper yeah, I, believe I, I don't know how I suddenly was not looking at temperatures. Uh, and then we got this one over here. Temperature's better. But then you got lava and volcanic fog. But then, like, the suit doesn't, you know... Do we need, like, a certain upgrade for that? I think, actually, there was, like, a, there was a heat thing, wasn't there, at the shop? Alright, I guess we just... I don't know, should we... I mean, I guess we just keep looking... But, like, our fuel gets lower and lower, so I don't... Like, can you, like, soft-lock yourself? This is what I'm curious about, too. White Dwarf, Neutral... I mean, I don't know what any of these mean. We only have so many to go to, so... I don't know. Uh, we haven't been to that, actually, have we? Oh, that's that's 43, right. So you've got to... But you, I don't know, it shouldn't change back, like... It, it should stay to the one you're actually set to. Uh, the mothership. Oh, so you, so you actually can, it just, so I guess it's only a highlight thing when you use that. You can still see the others, but that specifically highlights. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just feel like it's done in a slightly clunky way. But that's fine. Uh, what else have we got in 21 then? Like, wh what happens if there's none in 21? Because, like, the planets are randomly generated. So, what if there are none that we can actually go to? I mean, I guess we just got to keep checking. Because we've already been... We went to this one and we had no luck. And this one's 50 fuel. I mean, I guess to be fair, this is all an experiment. Look, engines engaged. Uh, yeah. Because I, I don't think this is meant to be a roguelite or anything. A roguelike. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know... So I, I really, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I didn't recommend Brown Dwarf as far as I recall, but, you know. Star system successfully approached. Alright, what are we, what are we got going on here? Nitrogen and frozen mercury, delicious. <laughs> or not. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, I think combat moving around is definitely going to be the way to go. Not very much better, except for the awkward, like, orientation part. Alright, that's bad. 
frozen stuff. It's, uh, it's, I don't know, like, oh shit, don't actually want to do Solar that. Engines engaged. I guess it doesn't matter that we, did I exit it? I think I did. Hmm. Um, how's that? No liquid, nitrogen. Oh, bad temp. I was gonna say, it's, um, I am enjoying this. Like, I really, I think it has a lot of potential. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. But it is definitely proving a lot more difficult than I was expecting to find just like any planet at all that we can actually just sort of, you know, enjoy exploring and stuff type of thing. Uh, planet or, oh, did we already scan that? Oh, we already scanned that one. Uh, what else have we got then? Because there's six planets here, isn't there? I think it said, or frozen mercury, nitrogen, silicate rock. It's, it's, yeah. No, no luck there. Uh, no atmosphere, no liquid. I assume that's just like a, we can't, all right, temperature too. Got to actually make sure to look at that. Temp's bad. So I guess soon as like, if any temp's, yeah. First thing to look at, isn't it? Nope, don't want to do that. Solar engines engaged. Didn't mean to do that. Uh. Hmm. We don't seem to be having a lot of luck. I wish there was like a menu for the planets. Like once you scan them, rather than having to sort of awkward, just try and, you know. Like it'd be better if there was like a little thing where you could just see the planets you've already scanned for this or something. Like a... I don't know, maybe there is some of that? Because I feel like there, like, there should be a thing where you've got like your list of discovered... Uh, whatever, these solar systems or whatever. And then you have... Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Anyway, let's keep checking these. I assume if it says no liquid... No atmosphere, we just move on. That's carbon dioxide for oh, we can't do mercury. Uh I keep trying to use AWSD to move around. It's like it's so uh, it's such an awkward thing when games have you use the mouse and then the arrow keys. Like who who has their arms like that? It's so this is awkward. <laughs> I'm glad games moved towards AWSD. Because you can do this with that A and um A and D. But then you've got left and right that does the tilt, and then the moving up and down is uh, up and down. Whereas it seems like that should be AWSD for that, 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 and then you'd have Q and E to use the rotation. Like, I think that would be a bit more normal. Um, otherwise, I think I'll stick with the combat. It's just a bit awkward. Um... I'm, I'm wondering if we shouldn't go back to the mothership and then look for a better... Thing. Uh, what's the tab menu say at the moment? Nothing really. Um, what do we got here? White dwarf. Where where is the mothership? Eh. Fuel insufficient for return journey. Proceed <laughs> um, with caution. Are you serious? Wait, what? Oh, it's eighty three fuel. Wait, what? We have one hundred and forty seven. Hmm. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Like, how, like, I, 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 hmm. Like, should we go back? What happens when we run out of fuel? Like, is it just game over? I'd hate to spend, like, an hour and then have to just, like, restart. That would suck. Wait, you're blue. Hello. Oh, is it because we've been there? No, because that's... Why are you blue? I don't think we've seen a blue one yet, have we? Is there something about that? Because we've been to this one, that's still... not blue. Making me think, is that like the good one? Like, and I just missed some. Oh, whoop, I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh. Well. Man, this is why I wish we had save slots. I'm gonna save and let's head back to the mothership. Fuel just, insufficient for return journey. We'll, we'll see what happens. With caution. Yeah, well. I mean, you, it doesn't. I don't understand that, because. The, yeah. We're gonna do it though. Fuel insufficient for return journey. Yeah, but it's Proceed not. With caution. 
Like, it's literally not. <laughs> so, I don't really get that. Oh, is that going to take a minute? Oh, there we go. We, we still have 106 fuel. Oh, we actually have an incoming message. Um, yeah, that, wait, what? It said fuel required, 82. But we didn't even use, like, half of that. Huh. Uh, mission command? Is this the same message? I think it is. Yeah, alright, so maybe, maybe we can actually get something from this then. Check the star systems. In search. Mothership successfully approached. Yes, we, that, that, <laughs> you're a bit delayed. Um, what is happening? What? Are we docked? Did we? Are we docked? I don't understand what has happened. We're not docked, are we? Maybe it actually did dock, but like, we still can't use that. But I don't, I don't know if that's like us docked or something. Like, can we, we can't move around or anything right now. Uh, okay. Um, trade. So, oh, what are you? Blueprint, air tank. Huh. Don't we already have an air tank? Because it's cheap. Now, there's new stuff here, so that's interesting. Um, health kit, rifle ammo, oxygen tank. And then you got these, which actually seem like maybe they're fuel. Because there was that fuel type thing that mentioned them there. Uh, anyway. So... Airlocks jam, we need crystals. Stick with standard stars or red... Oh, red giants. Not red dwarves. Okay. You may want to find some more resources up your weapon before traveling to the sector. Yeah. We... Yeah. <laughs> uh... Galax to will only appear after they've been visible scanned. Target sector will highlight the sector we need to find, Agnexium. And the show it over see that sector in your main view screen. So nothing really helpful there other than me possibly mixing up giants and dwarfs. Um no clue what we're supposed to do about that, unfortunately. Uh oh, we've got to exit that first. Quests are the same, of course. Star chart, right, that's just the... Hmm. Oh, wait, why are we spinning? What? Oh. Can I actually look around then? Oh, I can. Okay, I, I couldn't seem to do that before. Okay. So what do we got? Uh, we have Red Giant. So we actually did go to a Red Giant. Maybe they... Oh, yeah, so Red... Oh, I did mix some of them up then, I think, yeah. The Red Giant and Standard is what we want, ideally. Red Dwarf, Brown Dwarf, White Dwarf. So we went to the, the Standard and the Red Giant, and neither of them had anything remotely workable, unless I missed something, of course. We've been a couple of dwarfs. No luck there. Uh, I, I, cause I'm, I keep like actually trying to use the middle mouse button to like do this. I don't know what game has made my muscle memory do that, but it feels natural. Uh, do we need to like move away from the ship? Like, it seems like we're really close. Yeah. I don't know why it ended up, maybe it just, I thought we'd like docked, but we just were really close or something. Uh, anyway, I'm not actually seeing any other things, like, because we have to do this quest in Sector 21. But that seems to be all of them. Unless this is a nice one. You're a, no, that's a red dwarf. We've been to that one actually too. We've been to that red giant. Red Dwarf. Ah, I keep... I keep trying to AWSD. 
Oh, I could do some rebinding with auto hotkey actually. That might be good for next time. Make the controls a bit less awkward. Uh, I mean, I guess we can go to any of them because obviously we don't seem to be having any luck, but. Uh, but that would also be, that's why it would, it would be good if you could actually like see a menu because it's, I'd like to double check, for example, if I actually scanned all three. But to do that, I guess I actually have to travel there. It's, it seems like there should be some sort of menu. Um, I don't know, I, I guess we just pick a direction and hope for the best sort of thing. Um, otherwise, I don't know, do we have to like restart the game? It'd be pretty weird if it was set up where you could actually generate like no valid planet. I mean, it seems like really, it, it, the red giant or the red dwarf, uh, yeah, giant, right? Yeah, it, it should be either the red giant or the standard has at least one planet, right? I think, yeah, there's only, there's only one standard and one, alright, let, let's, let's go back to there. There's eight planets and somehow I feel like I probably didn't actually, Fuel insufficient wait, what's for that? Journey. Proceed with caution. Oh, return journey. Maybe that's what I... Oh, is that what I misunderstood with the fuel? This was saying, like, to get back to where we are, there's not enough fuel. Although even that doesn't... Like, so what do we just use then? Like, 30? Fuel level is low. But then it says... That. Like, we didn't use 71. So... I, I don't know if something's just going over my head with that, or... Uh, anyway, let's take a look around. Hopefully we missed something good. That's been scanned. That's been scanned. So that's one, two. That is something maybe. Uh, what else we got? Just a little one there about to hide away. You've been scanned. Are you a planet? your planet <laughs> some of them are really awkward because it's like they keep going around so it's like I don't know if I've actually checked them all sand no atmosphere that's no good I feel like we may have actually scanned them all Ooh, what about you yeah I mean there's probably others we can try see they, I don't know what's with these things because they highlight red like you can click them, but then you can't, nothing actually happens. Uh, is there something orbiting this way? Uh, follow this line. <laughs> Where are we going? I think that just, okay. What about you? Definitely haven't clicked on eight planets since we got here. Carbon, ammonia, no liquid, atmosphere, methane, I think we actually, it'd be good if you could actually see if you've been to a planet too, rather than just if you've scanned it. Uh, ammonia vapor, oxygen, sulfuric acid, did we go to that one? I mean that doesn't sound overly safe. What about that one? That's the frozen I think we did go to that one, didn't we? Because this one's actually in temperature range. It's got oxygen. Maybe? Oops. Didn't actually want to drop the beacon, so I guess that good it didn't work. Solar engines engaged. I mean, see I don't understand like see what that means. Like frozen sulfuric acid. That doesn't sound dangerous, because if it's frozen then like it's not, you know, it's not releasing anything, is it or? Temperatures are within range, I I think. Is, is 100 our bottom? Yeah. Oh, no, it's 200. Shit. I thought it was 100. Uh, that's awkward. Well, you know what? I'm just going to look at the planet anyway, because to be honest, I'm, I'm getting a bit stumped here. Warning. Uh, planet contains service hazards. Yeah. Proceed with caution. We, our last save was at the mothership, wasn't it? So you know what, let's, well actually, if it's not dark, we're just gonna let ourselves probably die.
Um, I'm still all in for this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm definitely dropping my, my enthusiasm is dropping a bit with having such difficulty finding even one planet that we can be on. Uh, yeah, no, I guess we'll just walk around till we die. You can do a weird hover. Like, I don't know, I don't understand what it's even doing. <laughs> that, oh, okay, I got turned around pretty quick there. Is that our ship? I think so. Uh, did we jump? I, do we have like a flashlight or something? Oh, we do. F for flashlight. Okie doke. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just let this run out. Uh, I guess we can walk around. Do we want to be near the ship? Like, I mean, it'd be good to know what happens, obviously. I, I assume once the suit condition goes down, that's when the health will start going down. But we, we need to understand this stuff at this point. That's, that's really the only way we can move forward. Um, but it's honestly seeming like we may need to restart the game or something. Because, I mean, it, the, the quest is specifically for Sector 21. So, if there's no planet that we can survive on in Sector 21, but also we need to find a planet that actually has that stuff on it, the Acnexium. So, mm, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I thought that was, yeah. Health drop and fast. That's, that's fitting. There we go. Let's see what happens. Die from cold. Achievement unlocked. Alright. Oh, so I guess it was the temperature impacting us on this one. Uh, nothing's happening, actually. Interesting. Uh. Oh, is this space to jump? So I don't know, I guess, hmm. Landing beacon? I guess that's for if, uh... I guess that marks it or something. So what do we do? Uh, I'm not sure what we're meant to do here. <laughs> Is there a respawn? Are we just... Like, what? what's happening? Are we, are we meant to exit? Is there a respawn key? Probably should have looked at the controls, actually, eh? Uh, there's the flashlight. Beacon... Du, 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 du. Uh, I, I guess we exit? That exited the entire game. Uh, okay. Yeah, alright. So that, that was a little odd to be honest. Like, I, I actually went and checked the Steam page to double check if there was a, a roguelike tag, but there's not. Uh, and I don't think it's meant to be like that, but... Hmm. Uh, couldn't seem to respawn or anything, and there was no option to load. Like, you could only press exit, but that actually closed the entire game. So that's pretty strange. Let's try load. Uh, oh, no, I was say I, I made a world beforehand. I was like, wait, we actually have slots? But no, these are just, uh, yeah. I didn't play it before, I just made a world to make sure it loaded and everything. So... Warning. Fuel level is low. This was... Wait, why are we here? Because the saving... Uh, what? The saving happens in the, the menu, so I don't know if there's like an automatic save before you enter a planet, maybe? What planet are we at? Was it the one we... yeah, it was. Okay, so maybe it saves before you enter the planet? And I guess that is how it works then, like we, we go by our save to respawn, unless there's a button that, I, I don't know, that, that was a little strange to be honest. Orbit disengaged. Uh, let's get the menu back up. So yeah, temperature seemed to be the problem there, which actually now I'm wondering if maybe, um, there may, okay, so I might have made a mistake there then, because if oxygen, I mean, if, if temperature, uh, yeah, if temperature was the problem, maybe this is actually okay then. Like, maybe there actually is a, uh, a planet that, you know, has the temperature and I dismissed because of something here that would have actually been okay. That would be a, that would be a hope. So, 
We just like, I mean, temperatures matter, the, yeah. If it's below 200, we just can't do it. Uh, oh crap, trying to use middle mouse button again. So what, what else we got here? Uh, no, no. You know what, let me, let me just look around for a bit, I guess. You know, one thing that actually didn't click to me here, um, well, I mean, we don't technically have to do this target objective straight away, which is actually very obvious, yet very dumb that I didn't, I mean, it, it's, like, we don't, we don't have to, do we? Because I'm just all here, like, I hadn't clicked back to 21 yet. There's a, there's a red giant here, for example. So, I presume there's no reason we can't go and collect resources and do other stuff elsewhere, potentially. Because that is not a far away one, that's the same as the mothership one. But it's, I guess to move forward we still have to do that. But, although I, I still, I don't know though, because I'm not sure how we get fuel or what the, it's, I mean, because there is the, um, I don't know where it showed, but at one point there it said like fuel type Agnexium here. So I don't know if that's actually why it's in that shop and we have to buy that to refuel. Um, but I was thinking, yeah, we could actually go elsewhere. Oh, right, it's there. It says fuel type Agnexium. Unless that's referring to the mothership itself. Um, but e either way, though, I mean, I could be wrong, but it, it, it still seems like there should be at least one planet that meets the requirements in Sector 21 that we can actually visit ourselves, right? You know, like it's like the the game uh, Ignatz or whatever his name is even said about Red Giants or Standard, which doesn't seem to be doing that well for us. Uh, not that we have a lot of fuel to actually go that far right now. Which what what happens if we run out of fuel? Because there's a bunch of standards. Oh, I mean, there's I'm saying a bunch, but there is a. Not a bunch. <laughs> there's a standard and there's a red giant there in 43 though. But if we wanted to just find, you know, anything that we can actually do, maybe. Because, uh, yeah. I haven't found anything here that, even, like, even based on what I said a minute ago with, like, the, you know, maybe I was um, getting caught up on one of these when it could have been an issue with that or, you know, whatever. Uh,. So, do we... So, that's got a nice temperature. That's a bit too hot. No, yeah. I don't know. Like, so... There's... I assume liquid doesn't matter to us. That's not a thing. But then there's methane vapor. But then methane's not referenced here. Let's... Let's give that one a go. Solar I'm, engines engaged. Yeah. We'll try that out. Um, I mean, I guess to be fair, if we do want to, it actually wouldn't hurt to restart the game right now. We wouldn't really lose anything. Like, I would just skip over me catching back up to the mothership part, the tutorial shit, and then you would have our resources back maybe, but being that this isn't a rogue light or whatever. Orbit established. Proceed oh. to hangar bay. Oh! You're not gonna tell me about some shit? That's nice. Um... Lost my train of thought there. Anyway. Let's, uh... Oh, do we wanna... Well, I guess this will be a test on the saving, too. We'll see, see what happens. Hopefully it's light, too. We keep going to planets that are all dark. I'd like to be able to actually see. I mean, I guess they have... I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I assume they have day-night cycles, but then... Oh, yeah, there's a little save icon in the bottom right corner, I think. That's what that must have been. It's funny how some games still use a floppy disk for a save icon. Okay. Okay! Nothing's going down! That's nice. I do feel the need to have our gun out, but other than that... Oh, and, okay, what is with the jump? It's so weird. Look, look at that. Oh, suit condition up there, the yellow bar. Oh, because that's the jump button, but I guess it's like a mini jetpack thing as well. 
Uh, oh, so our air tank's going down. That's interesting. Because the other planets, our air tank didn't go down. I don't think on any of them. I'm a bit paranoid by the sounds. But yeah, I don't think the air tank went down at all. Just the condition. Uh, what? Why did our air tank only go up a tiny bit? Okay, that was a bit weird. All oh, right, we want to put like a beacon or whatever, don't we? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look around. Finally, we have a planet we can explore. Uh, I would prefer, I don't know if it's meant to be like foggy or if that, is that the view distance? Cause, ah, uh, you can't adjust that apparently. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see that forever or we got this. Alright, so I guess we... Well, I don't even know if we can find what we want on this planet, I, I guess. Can we collect things? I don't really know what to expect. Because we can only go so far uh, without running out of oxygen. Oh my, there is an animal. Can we kill it? Is it coming at us? What a, uh... Oh my. Yeah, getting a little jumpy, because that sounds strange. What are you? Can I loot you? Sure, can we... Oh, that's not... Is there an easy way to do this? No? Take all, I guess. Okay. I do think, like, one thing... I really do think some of the buttons and, like, stuff needs some work. Uh, it's, it's, I know that they're the things you just get used to, but some of the things are, like... They're... They're non-standard controls for, like, no reason, it feels like, or something. Like, there's certain ways that most games just do certain things that, you know, uh, a lot of people have developed muscle memory for, so I think that it throws you off even more than it should when they're not like that. But, as I said, on a plus, we are on a planet that we can seemingly survive on. Uh, I am curious how the oxygen works. Like, do we just have to get, like... Like, can we get additional tanks, or, you know? I'm curious about that. Temperature's good, 300. That's, uh, I believe that's what they reference as a good day on Earth, so... That's cool. Uh, and we did get, we have looted something. So, we can use the... Okay, th those sounds are really, like... They sound like a creature, it's making me so paranoid. Um... Alien Gizzard, Alien Scales. Yeah, we can sell that. So, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we've got shit happening. That's good. We are very limited on how far we can travel, but, like, I feel like this is a good start of things. It sort of gives us an idea of what we can do. Like, because if we can kill creatures, get stuff, sell stuff, we can already be getting upgrades regardless of what our objective is sort of thing. Um, like, for example, if we happen to find a couple of nice things here, uh... What? Oh, I was going to say, let me pause for a second. So if we happen to find a couple of nice things, we could actually get that star map upgrade sooner than later. Why am I seeing... What is happening? That's that, isn't it? The planet wouldn't be that small, would it? Like, that the, you can see the beacon. Like, that would be... No, I actually don't... I don't want to travel too far. But I do want to know what this is, at least. Oh, do we? Oh, we have a sprint. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wait, is this really the ship? Wait, that's weird. Okay. Uh, I don't... Oh. Okay, it's working there. Maybe I kept trying to go too close. That's why the oxygen was being funny. Um... This is our ship, right? <laughs> I mean, it has to be, I guess. But that... That's weird, though. Like, I could see the beacon. That's... Okay, that does make me feel like I should maybe have upped the planet size, because it's definitely smaller than I was expecting. Okay, I guess we can. Pr I guess we can run around quite freely then. Actually, we don't need to worry about going too far, which is uh, not bad actually. And I should, yeah, the sprint's helping that. Uh, cool. That's uh, it's got like no weight to it. It feels funny. Um, not many creatures so far, eh? No caves. 
Because, I mean, I'm pretty much... I'll take anything I can get right now. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Like, look at that. Yeah, it turned off. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, cause, yeah. It's strange when it's like that. Can we, can we, like... Do we have other... I guess we don't have any tools, do we? Oh, there's... Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was, like, things on the map like that. Is that, like, a creature? I guess we'll... Try and be a little bit careful of the oxygen, but... Oh, there's a ship. Okay, so we... We'll, let's grab oxygen, then. Oh. I was trying to hit one for that. Okay, so it's... Yeah, one and two. Okay. So I think we did... Oh, okay, so we just stand here. I was trying to, like, go right up in it. That was probably what I was getting here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, why does it stop? I don't... I don't really understand why it stops. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot to love here, but it, there's definitely some clunkiness. That's, that's sort of my impression. Uh, yeah, let's run towards whatever we are going towards. Oh, is it a cave? Oh, okay. These are actually a separate loaded thing. Okay. Okay, okay. Not sure how long we can survive. This one's pretty close to our ship, though, so that's alright. Remarkable, you found a cave system on an unknown planet. It is very dark, but fear not. Your suit has light. Press the F key to turn on your light and navigate. Oh, this is actually a... Oh, damn it. So th this is another little, like, I'm saying about clunk. Like, it's got this message up, but I cannot get rid of it unless I swap back to this. Uh, sorry, actually, in this case, I need to press the flashlight, but yes, that is like that, because if I have the weapon out, it starts shooting. Spectacular. Now try not to get lost. These caves can get pretty confusing. Remember to use the E key to pick up items you find, like crystals and other uh, other kinds of minerals. These can be useful for crafting or to, to sell for some quaints. Yes, very good. And actually, yeah, then it was weird, though, because I had the flashlight already on, but it made me click E. Uh, F, sorry. Keep your eye on your oximeter. You know enough to recover the agnexium, though you may... I have to search more than one cave. Oh. You have enough to recover. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't even know if this case has it, though. So. And if you don't find Agnexium on this planet, keep trying other worlds until you find some. Then you'll get further instructions. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. Uh. Okay, so. One thing here. Why is my suit down? I thought we were in the 50s. Like 50 set, 52, 57? Hmm. That's concerning. I also thought that our air wasn't going to go down. Uh, although this is coming to where the game, I think, is meant to be a dungeon crawler. But I still feel like, from what we've seen so far, I wouldn't use the term dungeon crawler to describe this game. Sapphire? Oh, we uh, there was a quest for them. That's cool. Uh, is there going to be... Okay, this... How do we find our way out? Hmm... Okay. Uh, I guess we'll take. We'll go straight. We're gonna have to like. Oh, okay. These do open up a bit. I didn't know how, what it was gonna be like. But still, we. How do you? Hmm. Might just go straight, then walk straight back for right now, just to get a feel of things. Oh yeah. Uh, mainly just, we, we have so little right now that I don't want to die and lose it. So, should we head back to the ship real quick, maybe? Because we can, I assume we can pretty comfortably just go on the ship, dump stuff, come back out. Like, that's not gonna waste any resources, I don't think. Uh, oh, that was turned off, okay. Yeah, let's maybe try that. Like, even though we literally just have, like, a few things, a couple of crystals and them, I would prefer to, like, have a save locked in now that we've found a planet. Um, although it's kind of... Yeah, I, you should be able to save in your ship, I guess. Although, I guess, no, because I guess you save when you're... No, that's fine, okay. I was just thinking, like, it's kind of weird that, like, if you're just here in your ship, you can't save. you got to go to that screen, but then you do get a save when you do that, so it's not bad. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's pop these away. So we got, uh... Wait, what happened to the other one? Oh, it says 14. So did we get... Because we only picked up two. Oh, okay. 
place item. That's a... Is there, like... A, there's got to be a shift or something, right? Like, it, you shouldn't, like... There's got to be a quick key, no? T? Eh, okay. It's not a big deal. It's just a little said clunky. Um, can we put these down here? You can't move them? Ah, I like to be able to rearrange. I don't mean to pick at so many things. Like, I just think there's, like... There's, there's so much about this game that I potentially love. It's just got a, a number of rough edges and a little bit of clunkiness. That's all right. Uh, I guess we just, yeah, just delve in the cave and give it a shot. Um, it does seem really awkward to try and find your way out, though. But at the same time, I don't know how big the cave is, so I might be getting a bit much. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself. Uh, so... Ooh, weather's, uh, oh wait, that's blue. Oh, maybe that's like when you go in a cave it becomes blue? Alright, let's, uh, let's get back there. Yeah, okay, so it's blue now, alright. Let's see what we can find. I don't know if we actually need... Actually, I probably should try the compass in here. I don't know if we need the gun out. What can we... Oh, okay. So it looks like it's mapping out, but then it's dark as shit. <laughs> I don't know, I feel more comfortable with the gun out myself. Let's go have a little look around. Alright, got that. So how many was that then? That's five, okay. Alright. Well, we do need sapphires, because we can actually hand that in that quest, which would be nice, but... There's also the fuel situation. <laughs> Uh, okay, I didn't want to waste a bullet, but worth a try. Gonna have to really watch the air, though. I'm already concerned about getting back. Also, does that mean there are spiders in here? Because <laughs> uh, that was... Ooh, I, I already, I'm already lost. Lovely. <laughs> uh, oh, that was where it was. Not as lost as I thought, then. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you that I almost probably walked? Oh, carbon. Ooh, I wonder if I've already walked past some of that. Oh no, there's stuff on the walls. Oh, I gotta pay attention then, eh? Okay. Definitely gotta pay attention. Oh, what the hell? A blueprint, repair kit. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I can work with that. Now, I think that we're going to want to leave soon again, though. Like, I try and get an idea of finding our way out, if it's actually difficult or not. Although, we can only fit so much, too. Inventory does, uh... Not huge. I wonder if there'll be upgrades to our inventory or anything. Uh, have we been here? Very hard to say. You know, I, I do like the graphic style, but I, I do wish the render distance was more... I can't remember if there was video settings for that. Definitely worth us taking a, take a check, though. Ooh, can we pick... Uh, no? Okay. Okay, we're at 70%, so that's not bad. We've been out to be down here a bit. Uh, oh, are you... Please tell me you're another one. Oh, you are. Hell yeah. Nah, I'm not even going to look what you are. I want to... Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I think that's probably a good first haul. Let's see how this works. So we got the green arrow. There's little dots, like, I don't know what those are. But you know what? I would feel much better having this stuff secured. So, we just sort of head in that direction. See how we go. Oh yeah, okay. Awesome. Well, that wasn't bad. The green arrow, that that's definitely, yeah. Yeah, nice, alright. I can, I'm feeling that. I wonder if there's many more creatures on the surface. We only actually saw a single one, which is interesting. Might be worth having a bit of a browse around. Let's, uh, let's hop in, though. I think that... That saves? Yes, okay. Cool, cool. Let's go have a look at our loot and pop a few things away. Didn't lose any suit condition that time, that's good. So what do we actually get here? We've got iron, we've got copper, silver, gold, calcium, ship repair kit. That is something we need. 
Okay, carbon, sapphire, and a repair kit of a different kind. Well, that's a blueprint, though. Oh, maybe that allows us to make these? If we, What happens if we use it? Oh, okay. So we can use iron, silicon, and an alien circuit to build a repair kit. Okay. We, all right, all right, all right. Is that, oh shit, is that like a permanent thing, like we just have to use the blueprint whenever we want it, or, oh shit, <laughs> um, why does that, that exits the whole, there, little things like that, right, like in this, I feel like logically, when you exit this, it wouldn't exit the whole inventory, you know, like it's a little thing, but, yeah, uh, I think it'd be good if you could learn these too, I don't know, I hope we're getting a lot more storage, because, there's obviously not much here. Uh, and is there no... What is that? Is that... Oh, that's like if you... So you don't have to do the little scroll thing, I guess. But I feel like there should be a an equivalent to take all on this side as well. And you, like a double click would be nice or... Yeah. I don't know, I, I'm not meaning to like pick at things, just, you know, in hopes of them being changed, maybe, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's not meant to be picking as much as like you know, genuine things I, I think would improve the game, but, uh, I mean, I find this weird too, because it makes me feel like these are different things, but I guess they're not, <laughs> so, not a big deal, uh, we do have a few things to sell, which is cool, uh, I don't remember what the quest is, though. that's, that's another thing, like, I don't remember how many we actually needed for that quest, but I guess all these things are good to be finding, we do, have, do we, oh yeah, do we want to use the repair kit? Oh, is that like... Oh, okay, how does that work? I assume we don't have 41 repair kits. But is that, I assume one equals a repair or like... Oh, oh my god, I, I'm so dumb. My brain is not even working right now. I was thinking of this as being a suit thing. <laughs> I don't even know if I said that or what I was... Okay, we don't actually need a ship repair kit right now, do we? <laughs> my bad. I, I don't know, I was, okay. Yeah, it is already fully, okay. Well, that's still good for when we need it. Okay. Very good. Well, uh, I guess let's go to another another cave trip. Um, maybe let's, uh, maybe a little run around the surface as well, actually, see if we can find any more uh, things that we can shoot for gizzards. Everyone likes gizzards, right? Delicious, delicious gizzards. Well, I ended up at the other cave, so why don't we go just uh, take a look in here. So I'm curious about something too. Uh, that first cave we went into, I'm pretty sure our oxygen reset. But I don't know if that was just because it was like the first cave and there was like the tutorial stuff or... Yeah, that seemed to reset. So can we also get oxygen by ducking into caves? Huh. Let's see. Throw at 95, like, because that, that would be interesting. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. No, so not coming out, but, but going in? So I guess technically that's still the same thing. Unless it's uh, maybe new caves? I don't know if that, I don't think that did reset. Maybe it's only when you enter a new cave that that could be a thing. Um, I'm still not sure if there's threats inside caves yet either. Though this this planet doesn't actually seem to have a lot of life, so we'll, we'll keep our gun out though. <laughs> That's probably the safe way to go. That um that thing we killed earlier too. I'm not sure if um I don't know if that was actually hostile or it only became hostile because we shot it. So that's a thing. Oh, mini Chris, <laughs> that's tiny. Uh, I don't think we're going to be finding Agnexium here, but who knows. Oop, nope. Hmm, what else we got going on in here? Hopefully we can load up with some goodies. And then... Well... Our, our fuel is still a problem, right? Because I don't understand what happens when you run out of fuel, because... Like, is it game over? Like... Uh, that, that's something I'd really like to know. Uh, is this cave tiny, or am I just terrible with directions? Or both? 
or just I'm terrible? I do not know. Although, the, yeah, there was these little dots. I don't know what those were. I should be running too, right? Like, what? why are we walking around the cave when there's limited time with the oxygen? Oh, another dead end, man. Oh, there's something. And you? Man, gotta be careful. Like, I feel like it's gonna be easier to miss some of these things on the walls. Uh... I don't know if I'm repeating... It seems pretty safe in here, and it's only a button click away. You see that little dot, like, up ahead? Like, it's... Like, at this angle it doesn't show, then you twist... I don't know if it's actually a thing, or it's a visual glitch, or... I guess we'll sort of try and head in that direction. Oh, hello. More sapphires. That seems to be the main attraction of the caves on this planet. Oh, we're going down? Okay. I haven't really gone down so far, it's cool. Also makes me feel the need to have a weapon out. <laughs> but you know, that's fine. I'm paranoid about something just like coming out from around a corner. <laughs> uh, we are getting pretty deep in here, aren't we? Oh, there is something in here though. Alright, oh, hell yeah. What do you got for me? Something radiation related? Feel? Okay. Kind of, yeah. Trying to press exit to go to mid air. Little things, little things. Not all of them are what I would call not the best way to do it. Some of them are just, you know, you get used to it, but... I don't know, I feel like it's a normal thing when you have a menu open, you press escape and it exits that menu, then you gotta press escape again to open your normal menu sort of thing. Uh, but again, I think it's just one of them things that's like... The, the younger you are, the less stuff like that matters. But the longer, the more years you've played games, the more you develop muscle memories, which make uh, things like that more awkward. You know, like if you play a hundred games and you know 80 of them have like a similar setup for things then you know every new one it's a little odd that doesn't necessarily make it wrong but you know anyway i'm rambling <laughs> uh we're getting towards 50 oh we're coming i think yeah mm, well, we've got a few goodies not as this is definitely a, a more confusing feeling cave that's for sure and uh, nope that is just a something. Mm, I don't think I want to leave it too much more. Because I guess the consequences of the death is just, yeah, you lose everything you did before you saved. Which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, but I, I also don't know for certain because it was very strange when we died. Like, there's no load button in the menu, so it'd be kind of weird if the game was set up to where you had to Oh, we need to get out of here. Yeah, we're going to be low. But it'd be weird if the game was set up where you have to completely close the game and reopen it every time you die. Like, that that would be a strange default to... So, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to the ship. Which is... Beacon. Thank you. Uh, I keep, keep trying to hit one for the gun for some reason. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't seen any other life on the planet. I don't know if we can find, like, those kind of chests or anything uh, on the top of the planet either. Hmm. Oop, that, that is not the way. This is the way. This is the way. No, no, we, we've, uh, I don't know. I think it's been, like, slow progress, but I'm feeling pretty good, you know? I feel like we've kicked things off, like, we're actually, uh, we've got some loot. We can repair our ship if anything goes wrong. Our suit is still a, a situation, but other than that... Uh, yeah, silicon, cool. Oh, right, so I guess that doesn't stay. Alright. Uh, right, calcium, we got 43 more. We got a lot, we have 95 sapphires. That should be enough for the quest. Uh, got some fluorite. More copper. Uh, more ship repairs, cool. Uh, right, that's not the... Right, what is this, though? Yeah, radiation resist. Cool. So what does this do? Because this upgrade amount, is that like, that'll add 23 to my suit? I mean, that would make sense. Um, the only thing I'm concerned on with using it is if like, is that a permanent thing that's going to just add a number and this will be gone? Because if so, we might be better off, like... I mean, so for example, if we had five of these, could we just keep stacking them and that's how you upgrade suits? And if so, we might be better off keeping these until we actually buy a better suit. 
Because, I mean, we don't need this right now. So, I guess we'll just put that in there for now. I'm also curious about how we upgrade this, because, I mean, there's no way this is the maximum, especially with things like the blueprints. Like, that'd be, you know. So, there must be a way to upgrade. Or, I don't know, maybe we can get additional lockers? There's a lot of room in here. Hmm. Oh, that's another thing, actually, I'm just thinking, like, on the saving. Because this is kind of weird, like, say, like, you want to stop, like, after you come back from your trip outside. It, it, it seems like you should be able to just save here, but I guess you've got to go over here into the menu. And then you can save. Which, again, that's, that's not a big deal by any means, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't feel quite as good, I guess. Uh, but on that, I think this actually is probably a good time to wrap it up. Um, I know it's been a slow start, but I, I hope you've made it through with me because I do think this is going to be a fun one. I'm definitely going to be playing more. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling good now. Like, there's a little bit of, you know, uh, in there. But I was trying to figure things out and find a planet, but... Um, yeah, I, I definitely misunderstood a couple of things, I think, with that. And then I wasn't looking at the temperature and, you know, there was a... You know, some of the things that I think tend to happen more when I'm recording because it's like just... You're, you're a couple steps removed from your normal level of thinking, at least for me. <laughs> Other people are probably better at uh, doing and thinking and such. But yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this start. We actually have some stuff. We, I feel a bit more secure now. The fact that we actually have some things um, that sort of, I don't know, I feel like I just gained a bit more understanding in the most recent, like, half an hour or so, you know, just... You know, we, we've got a, a source of money, like that's sort of understood now. We can actually go into these caves, we can get stuff to make money, uh, even before we've actually done this. So, um, yeah, like, I think actually, maybe, maybe we actually, before we, before we actually has, uh, stop here, maybe we want to actually take a trip back on the mothership, or, no, you know, no, no, let's save that for the start of the next episode, because we may actually want to finish up on this planet, um, go back in that cave, see what else we can find. Um, then we can take the maximum that we can actually get uh, back to the mothership, sell some stuff. Um, maybe we can upgrade the star map, like, because that was like 500, which I don't think is that crazy. Like, this thing's worth 64. We're going to be able to turn a quest in, even without it. That's their value, so... Yeah, I, I don't think this would be... I mean, we could even sell some of these if we really wanted to, like... So I don't think there'd be any problem getting that upgrade. Um... But you know, guns. Um, I don't know. Yeah, because it, it did the the um, the stuff the trader had actually did change when we went there last time. So I don't know if every time you go there, it's gonna change or. Um, yeah, I, I think the only thing that we really have as a concern is our fuel. Because like, what if you can't get back to the mothership? Like that's that's one thing I'm concerned about. But I think we'll I think we'll leave that for the next one because I've been recording for nearly two hours, so I, th I think we've got a good start, uh, a slow start, but a good start. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling good about this now. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you made it through with me. I, and if you did, I, I do thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I don't know. Just let me know if you have any thoughts on this, suggestions, any interest to see more. Uh, let me know if you noticed anything that I misunderstood, that you understood, um, anything like that is much appreciated. And yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, just again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Or hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.